Hi, good morning everybody. We're here we're doing a bit of an unboxing for you guys. Uh, some exciting news for 2024 uh, from Bowl South Africa side or Bowls One Sport for Life, especially with the Bowls Go Live uh, streaming. Um, we've received some new equipment that we're um, testing and promoting and um, just also giving other sporting codes an idea of what we're using as well um, some of them might also be looking for a way to get their sport out there so it's important that we share um, the lessons we've learned over time uh, with other groups and people as well so yeah this is a a, a bit of a unboxing of um, our new equipment Ah, this is Bowls One Sport for Life with Jock Swanepoel. For you who knows, know me, I'm involved with the Bowls Go Live. I'm also the convener of marketing, um, the National Standing Committee uh, for marketing. Um, as you can see, holiday mode, um, getting ready for the festive season. I hope everybody's um, getting ready for uh, a wonderful 2024 as well. Um, so yeah, basically we... We've received some new equipment that we've gotten um, in the last while uh, to get ready for next year's Masters at Wingate Park. And we'll be doing test, some testing and um, development on these stuff um, as we get along. Um, but yeah, this the, the equipment that we're testing today, the uh, Vital Light um, cable cam, we've done uh, lots of testing last year on it. Um, from uh, at the Junior Nationals. We wanted to use it at the Masters in Cape Town as well. But unfortunately, um, the weather conditions and the venue itself um, and where we were situated um, in terms of the greens, it wasn't possible um, to get the shots that I was looking for. Um, very important that um, we make sure that when we use the equipment that it doesn't interfere with the play as well um, so yeah hopefully next year at uh, Wingate Park we're working with them to see if we can um, get this um, overhead shots for you guys um, as um, I think this will be a real game changer for the sport of bowls uh, we're also testing as you can see I have a little mic here um, clipped onto me um, we're also testing the Rode Wireless Go 2. Um, we'll do an unboxing of that later on as well. Um, this might become a feature uh, where we explain how we do it and what we do in terms of live streaming. Uh, yeah, as you can see, here at home, uh, and we'll do a bit of unboxing of the vital. We'll give you a, a, a quick rundown of what the equipment does and everything as well. Um, we bought this one um, through Amazon. Um, we just found that it was cheaper and we were looking for another product as well, um, which is still in development stage, um, which might um, add even more features in the future. So we bought the unit. Um, it's currently on the market for 3398 uh, $3 which roughly translates to about 7,500 Rand. It is also available on um, the South African market um, at uh, Top Gear and Take A Lot. At Take A Lot, it's currently um, 10,500 Rand. Now, quick rundown of the product. Um, as you can see, this is what the unit, and as you can see, it runs with a wire um, through, there's the motor basically that determines which way it goes, and you basically put your camera at the bottom. So we'll be putting a gimbal um, with an iPhone um, 8 underneath it um, to get you the shots. So it has uh, lots of connectors, stops, uh, straps that you can tighten and also comes with a 50 meter line. Uh, we'll be upgrading that line um, because unfortunately I, I'm very scared that something happens to the line, um, especially if we do a final and we don't want the camera to fall down onto a player or into the head at a key moment. Um, so we're upgrading that to a, a, a steel wire with um, a plastic covering, 
uh, we did some testing at the junior nationals with the wire and everything and we found that um, it's quite easy to to, to get it quite uh, talked um, in terms of um, uh, making sure there isn't any slack on the wire so yeah basically as you can see uh, in the remote it has um, a speed um, and what is nice it also has a uh, what do you call um, electronic end points so basically you put in the normal stops and then about a meter or half a meter from those stops you put in the electronic stops so um, then the the unit stops on its own um, so yeah that's important and then it also has an automatic speed setting and it also has uh, speed levels um, indicated there at the bottom um, here's a quick setup of how the wire works it's nice and easy um, this line will definitely be um, enough for most venues but at the masters I think I'll I'll rather use the the wire the steel wire um, as you can see you can put a GoPro your iPhone um, or a 360 or a wireless camera onto it as well as you can see it has a 50 meter you can tighten it quite nicely but we just want it to be a little bit more um, uh, tighter to get a, a better look and then it has the free speed modes uh, time lapse modes which is with um, 21 um, to um, 131 feet per hour the normal speed which is about um, 2.9 miles per hour um, and then we have the sport mode which goes up to 22 miles per hour so um, quite a lot uh, I'm just going to show you a quick video of the setup and battery. Setting up viral light is super quick and easy. Just unroll the quick reel line, attach the tightening strap, clip the quick reel in place and tighten. Place the physical end stops on the ends of the line to ensure safe use. Unfold the arms. Turn on the unit. Remember always turn on the unit before you place it on the line. Place the unit on the line. Remember to clip the safety pin in place. Turn on the remote and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Oh, so that just gives you an idea of what the unit can do. Um, so yeah, let's go over to the unboxing. I remember to share this video when it goes um, on to our page um, we'll be putting it on um, the Amazon review as well just to promote the sport a little bit more as well um, as we go along so let's switch over to our overhead shot and just remove that bottom thing so you can see everything clearly so as you can see as I move over We have the box with the vital, all the details, what you get in the box, the setup, the speed, um, uh, just converted into kilometers per hour. So it has a maximum of uh, 4.5 um, kilometers per hour in um, normal mode and 35 kilometers per hour in sport mode. So it can go quite fast. Um, we have tested um, the different modes as well. Um, and we've also found that um, we'll probably be making much more use of the, the application on the smartphone um, just in terms of its um, what you can do with that because it has a nice automatic mode and we can change the speeds and stuff like that um, and yeah so we'll give you a full test of the different modes and everything later on so this is just unboxing as you can see user manual just the normal uh, details how to set up how to change the camera or the battery um, how to charge the battery 
um, maximum weight and the angles that it can do. It can do a maximum of 30 degree angle um, and then just safety for person. Uh, basically, if your camera um, is maximum of um, 15 kilo, uh, kilograms uh, that you can put onto the vital. Um, so yeah, basically just a breakdown of how to insert the battery and everything. Uh, nice, quite easy, um, how to update the firmware and everything and then a quick breakdown of how the app use, uh, works. What I did is I did find that um, watching some videos of the application, how to use it, um, was actually a little bit more helpful and watching YouTube videos on the setup. So yeah, basically a QR code for getting the app onto your phone, safety stuffies, and then we also got a nice little um, cleaning cloth uh, from the suppliers for our camera. Okay, so this is basically what the box looks on the inside with all the documents removed. We have the remote. Let's put that to the side. I'll quickly have a look. As we saw the different modes, um, the um, this thing, basically the, the further you go, the faster it goes um, to the direction. You'll see there's a yellow button and a white button at the top. So depending on which way you're going, it's going to the yellow side or the white side, which I'll explain in a moment. So here we have the vital unit itself. So as you can see, the arms just fold over, over. And as you can see, there's a yellow line on this arm. Um, and nothing on this arm, so that's when you know you, your orientation will be yellow-white. Um, so if it goes to the yellow side, the unit will travel to the yellow arm. So you know, basically if you look at the back, we have the, the battery compartment. Nice battery, they say it has three hour battery life. Um, we'll be testing the full battery life so we'll probably just be focusing on probably one or two games per per day using the overhead um, unless we get a, a spare battery and basically to connect the battery it goes in one way um, I did find that one of the drawbacks is there is a bit of a, a difficulty to, to put the camera the, the battery and the wires so it doesn't cross and just doesn't work as nicely as I would like it but yeah, basically does the job. So there's the battery in, inserted. So we'll have a look. Let's look what's in the box as well. Let's remove this as well. Okay, so this is basically your accessories, your quick reel. Like we said, a 50 meter um, quick reel. Um, as you can see, uh, it has a nylon type of wire, um, which for most purposes will be perfect. But um, yeah, like we said, we're going to upgrade this one. Um, we'll show you how we upgrade that. Uh, it has the tightening strap and everything. Um, um, unfortunately, it doesn't tighten as hard or as, as, as much as we would want. And then you have your automatic stops um, and uh, uh, where you connect your camera if you want to put it on an angle. You can connect it directly. It has a normal um, screw function at the bottom that goes and then on this side we basically have our charger which comes with different attachments I've already changed it to what we use in South Africa the two points so basically just clips in like that and then you're ready to go it charges your uh, battery it has a little light indicating when it's fully charged um, and to remove it you just press the button and it unclips yeah, um, that's what's in the box. Now let's show you how everything works when it's turned on. So basically, like I explained, this is what you'll put the the vital on. This it goes over under this over here under there. Um, quite easy to set up. It has a nice safety pin as well. So even if the unit um, gets disconnected from these arms, it won't fall down. Um, but yeah, it's a good thing that you put in the stops as well. Um, I like the electronic stop as well. That is quite a nice feature. So basically to turn it on, you just press that button and it's on. 
as easy as that. Uh, same with the um, remote, you just press the button and it's turned on. So you have your different modes depending on which light is flashing, your endpoints, so this is your your white side um, electronic stop and this is your um, yellow side electronic stop and then there's an automatic mode that you press here at the bottom. So then it will go either in ping pong mode or whichever mode you've set it. So basically if you move this over to the yellow side you'll see the motor starts turning and depending on how far you go there's the maximum speed and same to the the other side. So overall the build quality I'm very impressed with the build quality uh, only problem like I said is the battery compartment I would have liked a better fit for all the wires and the um, uh, battery um, itself um, but overall yeah um, it is a bit of a cheap plastic um, so definitely will be an issue um, for um, over quite a few years of use um, the motor seems quite quiet as well so it won't interfere with the players too much um, our idea is to have it quite high above the heads of the players um, and get the overhead sort of shots so basically what we'll do is we'll strap our gimbal on the bottom of this so the entire unit will be around about this long uh, hanging down the bottom um, the only other drawback is we won't be able to put a battery pack if we might see maybe we can uh, put a battery pack at the back here um, with tie backs or something to connect to the, the camera so basically we'll use the gimbals um, power source as a backup for our um, uh, phones at the bottom that does the camera work uh, so we'll be able to move around here at the bottom uh, to get the shot and we'll even have a few follow shots of the players as they're releasing the ball um, that's what we'll be testing how we can do all that for you guys at the, the masters uh, come february so yeah we're looking for um, venues where we can test in january um, hopefully there'll be some events happening at um, wingate park as well let's move over back to that the main units so you can see my pretty face again um, so yeah that's basically what we're doing in terms of um, what's happening in the new year um, we're testing this little mic here as well um, I have to say I'm quite impressed with the sound quality at this stage it's also easy to connect um, but basically if we use it with our current system we'll have three um, wired mics and two um, wireless mics um, we've also added um, the camera for the vital um, so we'll have five cameras in total running um, and then we have a six one as a backup as well we might be able to use that six one um, if, uh, for interviews and um, um, going around the green and seeing um, if we can maybe have interviews with spectators or celebrities next to the green um, so that's the idea now the other thing um, we might look at is just giving uh, you guys more of a breakdown of how we do things at the event so we'll do a lot more of these how-to videos and unboxing of um, uh, what we use so districts can have a look at what we're going to use um, basically what we're looking at is there is other options um, where you just have the one camera and if you put it on a vital like this then you can basically do both ends by just um, going from the one side to the other side um, which might be a cheaper option for many of the districts um, and there is quite a few nice cameras unfortunately these cameras are not compatible with our current system um, but it will give you updates on on systems that might uh, work well for a district or a club that is looking to get a bit of live streaming at the events um, so yeah if you are having an event in January um, 
and it's in the Joburg area or close by to me here in Kimberley, uh, let me know um, and maybe I'll do some testing at your event and you get some free exposure. Um, basically, normally what we do is we just ask for um, whatever our cost is to get to the venue. If it's in Joburg, then it's quite easy. Then um, I normally sleep with um, in-house um, housing or with my in-laws or I also have a bit of family up there as well um, so yeah we'll be hoping that we do some testing at Wingate um, we're having a, a nice discussion with the guys there at Wingate um, to get poles planted for this system specifically um, and also improving the Wi-Fi down to the, the greens that we are um, working on but yeah overall um, the system is still quite mobile um, which I like um, just adding the vital will just add an extra um, element to the, the streaming and yeah, unfortunately uh, in windy conditions it might be difficult to use the vital. Um, we still need to test what effect it will have but because it's quite a, 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 a bulky unit when it's all set up um, I do think especially with the camera that will act like a sail uh, almost um, we will have a problem uh, in really windy conditions down in PE, um, East London, Cape Town. Um, but normal um, wind conditions will not be a problem. So yeah, this has been a, 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 a nice unboxing video, my first. Uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more of these ones. Um, and, yeah, and if you have any suggestions on maybe bowls content that we can create for you guys, uh, let us know. Uh, we're also always looking for ways that we can promote the sport. Um, I still think there is a market for um, a variety of different shows like uh, unboxings and um, stuff like that. I still feel even a, a cooking show based on what's happening at a bowls club might have um, a good following on our page. Um, we need to start creating content to get more people watching what we do in the sport of bowl so we can promote it um, so yeah if you have an idea for a variety show uh, we'll be looking at uh, a few options in the new year as well um, all part of the, the planning and um, what we can do i don't want to waffle on too long um, but yeah hope you enjoyed the, the unboxing video let me know what you thought of it give me a thumbs up uh, share and a like if you enjoyed it um, and any suggestions um, Hopefully on the next one I'll, I'll, I'll look uh, a lot better, um, like I say, in holiday mode, um, getting ready for the festive season. So just wishing everybody a, a, a wonderful festive season as well. If you're spending it with family and friends, um, enjoy that time. Uh, you never know um, when we won't be able to spend those times with our family and friends. And if you are... Um, Keep in touch with your bowls community as well, your bowls club. I know normally this time of year there's not a lot happening at the bowls club, but I see quite a few clubs are having year end functions and stuff like that, um, and events to get ready for the next for the season that's coming up. Um, yeah, um, when you uh, on holiday, um, share with us your experiences if you're playing bowls um, at a new club that you've not visited before. Um, Give us a few photos and everything. You're welcome to send it to um, Bowls One Sport for Life. We're on YouTube and Facebook. Um, and yeah, you can also uh, message your pictures and stuff to us um, and share. Uh, tag us in your um, experience um, whenever it's Bowls related. So have a lovely day. And hopefully you all enjoyed this unboxing video um, and we'll um, have some exciting news coming 2024. Um, I think it's going to be a good year for bowls. Quite a few events that are being planned. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you more bowls. Um, I saw the power pairs from our friends at Burned End Productions. They were the guys who lent us their um, vital unit um, last year. Um, so we were able to do some testing before we bought our own unit um, which really helps um, because you don't want to spend 
a lot of money and then um, the system doesn't work the way you were planning um, but yeah this is basically um, one of our future things and hopefully the the vital um, or the the wireless mics will also add another uh, feature to make the sport even more exciting and more enjoyable for you guys watching it at home so yeah everybody goodbye